currently I would rather describe there is um, a lot of politician talk about uh, going to cleaner energy and we, we need that uh, for our environment. I, I don't uh, reject that. But essentially, um, the fact that uh, it takes probably another 20 years to completely reduce our dependence on fossil fuels uh, if renewable uh, supply keeps rising at the same pace as we have seen in the past, still needs uh, additional investment in, in the sector. And natural gas specifically um, has uh, long been billed within the industry as the bridging fuel of choice. Do you see it continuing to play that role over the coming years? I believe so. For me, it's more important to reduce our dependency of coal, which, which is the most polluting fossil fuel. And in that context, that the flexibility of natural gas should help uh, um, bridge uh, the energy transition about coal, Giovanni. China's coal future is set for the best week on record. Uh, the energy crisis deepening over there. Uh, based on your understanding, uh, what are the, the causes, the, the reasons behind China's energy shortage? There have been uh, some factors on, on the demand and supply side. Uh, if we consider this uh, um, mine closure due to safety, environmental reason uh, was one important element. This resulted in a modest supply increase in China of about 4% this year. And at the same time, we have seen power demand using coal as an input has risen by 11%, and this has increased the gap and weight on in inventories in the country. What we have seen recently is also some floods in some mines, limiting the supply response. So it's also here a combination of factors. Mm. Well, just this morning, the Times has reported that uh, China's President Xi will not attend COP26 here in Glasgow. Um, you know, obviously China is crucial, a crucial player in the fight against climate change, being the world's largest emitter. Um, to what extent do you think this energy crisis could uh, delay China's commitment to move away from coal and move toward those uh, cleaner energy targets, given how important um, stabilization is from a, a domestic social perspective for China? It's probably not just a, a China issue at the moment. It's relevant for all uh, countries in the world um, that we move away uh, from fossil fuels, but essentially it's more understanding that such transition don't happen overnight. And if there is pledges uh, that we can manage or we aim to, to cut investment in fossil fuels, while at the same time our energy demand keeps rising, then we run into a challenge. And here, clearly, we have seen comments coming from China that it's also important to secure energy to ensure that the economy keeps rising. So it's a combination of both factors, which is important in my view.